Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Light Designer, and today we are going to go over a few of the screenshots that have been revealed by Planet Zoo over the past few days for the conservation pack that is launching next week. And obviously, the first screenshot we are going to look at is this one of the Chevalsky horse. Now, I do want to say, like, some people were really like, oh, you say that completely wrong in, like, the first video I did. I think what happened is that I just heard the Dutch name in my head. How we pronounce it in the Netherlands is Brzezwalski part. And I just converted that to something in English. So uh, yes, okay, now I do know. Thank you all, <laughs> Chevalski horse. First up, we've got to refill the food for our Przolski horses. Did you know they're the last truly wild horse? A preservation foundation formed in Rotterdam in 1977, and thanks to their efforts to reduce inbreeding, the species has retained higher genetic diversity. Now, we already did see the Chevalski horse <laughs> a few times in the trailer and stuff, but still this picture just shows what kind of amazing animal this first of all is. Like the fur looks absolutely fantastic. It does look really amazing and I am really excited to see this horse coming to the conservation pack and it just looks absolutely amazing. But also just notice like the grass right over here and the flowers. Man, this conservation pack is going to bring so much diversity to our landscapes and stuff. I really cannot wait to get my hands on this this grass types and and flowers and and the horse itself of course it's gonna be super amazing so the next screenshot posted by planet zoo was this one before we head elsewhere let's stop and water the flower shall we People think conservation is all about the animals, but plant life is just as important. Flora is a key part of all ecosystems and can help improve water quality, help different food sources grow, and more. So these sunflowers do look absolutely beautiful, but also just the daisies and these flowers right over here. And what I said, the grass, it all looks amazing. I was looking at this water for a second, being like, are we getting some new rocks? But these just look like the smaller type of natural rock so i do not really think that this is something new Al although we could debate if they are going to maybe add more of like these patches just like the aquatic rocks but i, I doubt it i doubt it but it's something that i'm definitely going to check if there is something new with these type of rocks um, I do wonder if this is like a custom fence, especially on top of it. I think it is because it looks very neatly aligned with like the beams underneath the bridge. So I do think that this is a custom bridge, but it could also be that we're getting like a new path texture with like this, this green fence on top of it. I'm not really sure about that, but I'm definitely also keeping an eye out on that to see if there is anything new with that. But I, I think these are uh, custom uh, pillars. These pillars might be recolored of a beam that we already have, but maybe it is something new that we're getting in this pack. We, we have to wait and see about that, but definitely very excited to uh, get our hands on these flowers and this grass. How excited can one be about that? <laughs> like, what do you want about that? Do let me know in the comments down below. And next, we have to check on the scimitar horned oryxes. And just for your information, in the Netherlands, we call this one the Algazel, or a sabo antelope, or a sabo oryx. Gosh, it's so hard to sometimes switch from English to the Netherlands. But just to give you guys an idea of why I sometimes say something that you're like, wait, what? How are you saying? No, but it's just so different in the Netherlands and yeah, but they're incredible, aren't they? They're actually extinct in a while, but thankfully Chad in Central Africa is leading a reintroduction project that resulted in the first wild cod for 20 plus years in 2017, which is absolutely amazing. And I think like the screenshot that we saw in the first, like after the announcement trailer, I think there was something a little bit off with the textures maybe, but this, this looks already so much better 
matter. And I think it looks absolutely incredible. And I do really like it. I think this is a different fur, although this is a shade and it almost looks like it's like this darker tint like on the, on the fur texture. But I think it still is like a, a little bit of a different fur texture. It's not. It might just be the lighting. But anyways, they look absolutely amazing. Really cannot wait to see these guys also in the conservation pack. They're, they're not probably not really my most favorite animal of the pack but i do really um like it that frontier added this beautiful scimitar horned oryx in the conservation pack as well and last but not least we have this screenshot with planet zoo saying clean energy is another way we can care for the planet and one of the ways we can do this is with infrastructure using eco-friendly gathering systems and ensure they're clean can help regulate temperatures therefore reducing the need for heating or air conditioning. Oh, uh, I really do hope that this is like a real functioning thing, even though I have my doubts about it because I do think that this is just piece by piece, but the idea already is incredible. Oh my goodness, just look at this. Oh my god, we actually are getting... <laughs> Did we already see that in the water hose? I think we did actually now that I mention it. But I I was building my, my backstage building for the uh, tigers in my franchise series. And I was looking for this thing. You have one, but which is more like city zoo base with like this pillar behind it. But this is actually exactly the thing I was looking for. So I'm just really happy with that. Uh, man, this whole system looks really incredible i think many people that love to play planet zoo more with like detailing and stuff will absolutely love 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 this pack uh, like i do also this little uh, i'm not really sure how you call it but we already have a few of the decals but i think this one is new and i think it looks really good also we, we have seen the crates already in the trailer i think but oh man we can really really start decorating our backstage areas and stuff and i really do love it but obviously that's just my opinion like i I do know like uh, so many people so many preferences and wishes so there are also people out there that couldn't care less <laughs> about all this stuff but I really do love it. Do let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on all the things that we have seen in today's video. And obviously stay tuned for all the other videos that I will be making to keep you all up to speed with all the news and screenshot reveals throughout the whole week. Leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys. Oh, I'm not. I'm just gonna sit up and sit down and sit down.